What's going on YouTube? Steven the Salon Guy here and I've got a brand new model and this is Andrew and Andrew is uh, not nearly as good looking as I am but anyway, uh, no, I'm kidding. But Andrew is like the ideal you know, candidate for that longer hairstyle. He's got the good looks, he's got the flowing hair. But what's interesting today is Andrew has uh, agreed to let me shave his head like my haircut. Right Andrew? Oh, absolutely not. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, damn it, another one said no. So as you can see, you know, he's got really, really thick, coarse hair, okay? And a lot of the tucking behind the ear. Anytime somebody has longer, thicker hair like this, it's very easy to tame it by putting it behind your ear, kind of matting it down, letting it air dry, using things to kind of tame it, all right? A lot of this type of hair is, is how to tame it. Uh, so what I'm doing today is I'm actually gonna kind of re reverse the shape a little bit. We're gonna bring this up and through here. And I really wanna create more of like a nice, seamless flow going from here into this, which this is already starting. This is already starting that flow right into here, but I want to kind of marry it right down through here. So it's not just so much long hair, you know, down and through here. Something that's going to kind of, if you did want to grow it out, it would grow out a lot easier where this isn't so heavy. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to wash Andrew's hair and I'm going to start the cut. And I just want you guys to follow along. Probably not going to do a lot of talking, but I want you to watch what I'm doing and then we'll break it down at the end. So what I've done so far on Andrew's hair is I, I really wanted to start the foundation of the haircut as you can see in through here. So now, just from this and the way I've shaped the foundation, he already has a much better kind of flow to it. It doesn't look like it's, he's got such a long you know, area of hair down through here and this is unbalanced. So a lot of these haircuts, it's really just balancing it out first and then once you balance the haircut and you start to put the, the proper shape into it, it all starts to kind of flow together. So even on this side and through here, you know, by just bringing the hair back and let's just do a little test right in through here because he likes to tuck the hair behind the ear. As you can see what we've done is we've already kind of, you know, removed a lot of that excess bulk and we've created a whole new kind of shape now through here. So, you know, it's much more manageable but still looks kind of cool. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start to do some kind of light internal layering and I don't wanna go too crazy with the layering but it's also necessary in order to have that flow and in order to have some movement through here because you don't want to have this all one length. One length is very easy if you just want to wash it and just go like this all day and that's it. But what happens is if you do have your hair kind of come forward like this sometime, there's no movement to it. It just looks like a big glob of hair on your head and there's nothing to it. So I'm going to start to create some minimal internal shape in through here and then you're going to see what that's going to do to Andrew's hair.
All right, everyone, so what I'm doing now is probably the most crucial part of the haircut, and that is connecting the back into the top. Now, traditionally, sometimes people will just hold up a section right here and cut it after they've done this, and what happens is they're creating a whole other kind of layer right in through here, where I've already created my layer, I don't need to. I need to connect it. So I'll cut everything kind of vertically going towards the face, because here's the, here's the part that I cut before, and here's what needs to connect to the actual very top. So I just create a seamless connection right here in this area, then I can move forward going horizontally. And this is really the best way to do this, for me at least, because I'm not sacrificing um, any of the length, I'm not recutting things I don't need to cut, but I'm able to really see exactly how much hair that needs to come off, and I'm also able to control what hair is coming off too, because if I do want to angle my arms up this way to kind of keep a lot of length in through here, I can see it exactly uh, by my arm position and my body position. So now I'm just gonna work forward horizontally because we've already connected it, but now I'm gonna work horizontally further towards the top of the head because it's already blended in. So it's a much easier process. So Andrew's haircut is now complete, and as you can see, a completely new, different type of shape. We still have some length in through here, but it's got a lot more movement. And what I did, again, is I created the strong foundation in through here in the nape area, and then angled it up in through here. And it's really kind of crucial because he still has some length, but it's just enough length that it'll still have that length, that longevity as far as like, you can brush it back, and, but it's not long, too long where there's no movement. And that's a problem. Sometimes this is left really, really long. It's just going to hang down, not do anything. So I really created the foundation to have more of, more of a flow. See, when I bring it back, it all just kind of works into everything else. So we can open this up, or you can kind of bring it forward. You can still wear it kind of messy, and it's still going to kind of look good and have some movement to it. All right? So then what I did in the back is, aside from cutting up the base down through here, again, I created some layers. And the layers come to about right in through this area because if you start cutting layers too short and through here, it's just gonna to start to become out of control. It's gonna to start to frizz out, it's gonna be just very unmanageable. So it's okay to have some kind of weight, but not solid weight, it is technically layered, but it's just so blended so well that the majority of the movement is gonna be down into the nape down and through here, and that's what gives it that kind of more rugged, textured type of look. <clears throat> Same thing on the other side and through here, we've got that flow going on, and because he has, his hair is parted, there's more hair on this side. <clears throat> so I wanted to create the same type of thing, but really it's just creating a good balance so that when you bring the hair back, again, even though there's less hair here because of the part, it's all gonna kind of work seamlessly together and you're still gonna have that nice texture type of look in through here. So really what I'm talk about right now is the styling of it. So I've been spraying in my 25 spray a handful of times, you don't, you don't want to over spray 25 spray. Sometimes like three or four spritzes will be just enough. And there's really 25 benefits to it. So it's got a lot of great uh, perks to the, to the actual product itself. But I've noticed that if you go too crazy with spraying like, you know, 10 times, it's just, it is going to create kind of a build up type of feel. So next what I want to do is start cocktailing a few products. And it's totally okay to do that as long as you know why you're using these products. So, I'm going to layer on a few different products, starting with Tidal Wave. So Tidal Wave is my sea salt spray, and when I see hair like this, I just think surfer, beach, you know, something very free, and I want to create kind of that sea salt type texture. And what that's going to do, it's just going to give a little bit of light kind of grit and texture to the hair so that it helps tame it, um, but also when it dries, it does, it's not just so fly away. Next, what I'm going to do is Shadow. Anyone who uses Shadow loves this product, and you guys know what I'm talking about. And it's basically like a cream pomade. So probably about that much. He's got a lot of hair, so a little more. 
But because this works through the hair so nicely, it's actually gonna not be a problem. Uh, and then I'm gonna take one pump of my product Sleek, which is my argon oil, avocado oil, and cape geranium oil. A really, really amazing product. So what I'm doing with this is I'm actually focusing on taming the hair. So as it dries, it's not gonna be super you know, fly away or super frizzy. I want this to really dry in a very tamed type of environment. So by applying products like this to the hair, it's actually setting it up for how it's going to dry later. And hair types like this, and if somebody has curly hair or wavy hair, sometimes the best thing to do is to let it kind of air dry. Because if I start taking a blow dryer to this, I mean, I could work this into my hands, no problem, and blow dry it, but it starts to kind of create some frizz to the hair, I've noticed. So I'm just gonna kind of set it and forget it so that as this really dries over time, it's just gonna naturally form into its own shape. So again, we can still tuck this behind the ear. We've got that right there. You can bring this kind of down. You can bring this back. And if you want to have maybe a couple of pieces here for kind of like one of those, almost like a nice, one of those strands, almost like Bradley Cooper, like that, you can do that. So the haircut really has a great flow to it. And uh, I think I'm really, really happy with how it came out. Hey guys, my name is Andrew Precario. I am a fitness instructor, also a musician. And um, I reached out to Steven looking for a cut that had a little bit more functionality for when I do training, but also had that edge for me as a musician. And um, some of the things I like to stray away from, um, coming from someone with really thick, coarse hair, is like waxes and different types of uh, pastes. I like more uh, leave-in type conditioners and uh, smoothing creams that gives my hair a little bit more movability. And uh, I actually happen to have my guitar here, so I'll play a little something for you guys. Here's uh, some original music. I'm uh, mostly uh, kind of like a hybrid between a, a blues-inspired musician and I really like R&B type style music and licks, so. I think this is a perfect style of haircut for what I'm going for, feeling confident on stage, and I'm really stoked for the way it came out. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha. 